Um, this is a 4K um, 84 inch multi touch screen. It supports um, up to 32 touch points at the same time. And um, yes, we have applied um, safety glass, so it's made for um, the use in public spaces and it's also made for continuous operation 24 hours a day. Uh, yeah, the quality is um, impressive. So you have very small pixels. It's um, four times of uh, full HD resolution. So especially for touch applications where you are very near to the screen, you have the best quality. Nice, it's the largest Android tablet in the world right here. 84 inches. So we can, you wanted to play Angry Birds? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that's awesome. <laughs> and this is 4.11, yes? Yes, of course. So that's just a good example to show that you can download any app from the Android store and use it on a big screen. That's you just don't have to nuts. Do <laughs> but you should maybe choose an application with some higher resolution content. So, for example, we can run... Do you know Apex Citadel? With Unreal Engine? Oh my god, that's just nuts. So what's powering this right now, this 84 inch? Is it just a little dongle that you had? Yes, you can see it there. It's just a little stick. Okay. You see it? Uh, yeah. That stick there. That stick, oh, okay. Yes, that's okay. all. <laughs> that's just... Wow. Okay. And what is that Loading. stick? It's just an Android stick. Really? Yeah. And that's powering this whole thing. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> wow. That is just unreal. So this stick is what? It's available now, yes? It's also available at the moment, yes. So it's just running with this stick. Is there any memory or anything in there? One? Is there any memory? Yes, 4 gigabytes and you can extend it up to 32 gigabytes. And what does that run for? Hmm? What does that cost, the stick? The stick? Uh, uh, it's, uh, 79 euros. That's just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> and is that, does it also support uh, multi-touch? points as well? Yes, of course, but that's only a demo to show that this um, Android devices have um, actually so much power to render live 3D applications in this resolution. So, so the, this is not running 4K, obviously, right? This no, is no, it's just full HD. Full because HD. The Android stick makes only full so HD. it's scaled down and it still looks great. Yeah. Normally this was made uh, for just for smartphones mm -hmm. to show the power. Right, right, right. Okay, maybe we can just um, start something else. Um, <laughs> this 3D mountain is funny as well. Ah, no echo. Yeah, I should listen like that. That's loading a few seconds. Okay, and here we can just... It's also just a demo to show the Android power. But anyway, on that screen, it's not so nice resolution. It really still shows the power of what you can do. Yeah, of course. Um, design review. What's the multi-touch test? Just a test application. Ah, okay. So we can literally do like 32 touch points. That's like yeah, of course. three fingers. Uh, uh, not fingers. three, uh, like <laughs> five, hand, six hands. Yeah, of course. Six so hands on there at once. Uh, this technology is very useful when you use it with um, more than one or two people. Right, right. For one person, it does not make any sense. Unless you stick your feet in there too. <laughs> so that, so the app doesn't, oh okay, it does take advantage of the full screen. Yeah. It's 
uh, suggest an Android game. <laughs> Maybe I will try again the car. Sure. The car one, right? Car demo. So it looks pretty good at the screen. Responsive. Can we can we do it together, or does it not uh, make sense? Uh, to, can I open no the door sense. up? No, no. It's just a basic demo application. So is this in 4K now? This no, demo? No. The Android runs only for uh, HD. Only, only for so HD. Have to okay. Plug in again the PC, so we have 4K. The feet, the C, uh, the PC will allow the 4K. Yes. Okay. But it still looks pretty good, though. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> for a stick that's 80 euro and it's rendering this kind of power. I mean, it's like a computer on the go. Yes. It's quite amazing. Thank you for that demo. You're welcome. Okay, this is um, a geography map application. So we can switch um, the year by double tap. And the background as well. So we can compare how New York City um, changed over the years. That's also made uh, for multi-user scenarios, so we can use uh, multiple windows at the same time and uh, look at different years. And this is um, especially used for uh, control rooms, for museums. And um, in this application, we can see very well um, the high resolution, so a lot of details, especially. Um, let me check the right map at this map so you can see every detail. Oh no, that's oh, you not can, okay, snap in it's zoom. just to use uh, these windows. So that's like a magnifying glass, if you will. Yeah, of course. Okay, well, if you compare it uh, to current technology, for example, there are some 70 inch or 82 inch uh, displays on the market, but they are only running at full HD. So you would have uh, four times higher pixels. Is, there, so is this available in the market now? This is also it's the already 4K? available. Yes, okay, course. and how much is this? Uh, it's around... The 48... Um, I, I'm sorry, the 84 inch. The 84 inch in euros or dollars? Either. <laughs> euros. It's euros, it's around 33,000 euros. Okay, so that's about... And uh, yes, we are also supplying a fitting uh, PC system to run it at 4K resolution. Does it ship to the, the state? Yes, of course. We have currently um, a project in Cincinnati, and this is for a control room to control some um, panic situations. So they have some map overlays and can just uh, view yeah, special ways or special areas where are some critical uh, circumstances or something How like that. How are you developing it so that it supports the 4K technology? How it's developed? Like app-wise. App Would you need um, a specialized app? To run no, the 4K? You, have ju you just need um, the content in such high resolution. What, so about, in the, general, uh, what about the multi, the 32 inch multi touch? Uh, yes. 32, 32 touch, touch point multi touch. What's supporting that on the back end? Is it like synaptics or is it something proprietary to you guys? You can use uh, Windows Native Touch, you can also use Toyo, you can use the Surface SDK, you can use an um, SDK we are supplying for Flash or Flex, so it's very open. Gotcha. You can use it with any developing language.
plastics and there's a couple of fair on it. For example, like uh, 